Susan, Eric Roberts here. I love this request. I'm going to do it. I love Philly. And I hope you're dancing right along. Susan, Eric Roberts here. Yes, I do know the lyrics to If I Can't Have You. Love that song. I love that you enjoy dancing and singing. You sound like my wife, Eliza. Those are two of her favorite things to do also. Susan, go on YouTube and Spotify and find the music of my bonus son, Keaton Simons. He'd be honored knowing that you're out there in Philly singing along to his music and dancing. Keaton, Keaton tours a lot through your town with Brett Young and on his own. A Lifetime, the Lifetime movie, If I Can't Have You, was directed by one of Eliza and my favorite directors, David Dakota. We are regulars in David's movies and it's an absolute joy, he's so cool. I'm so happy to meet you, Susan. Thank you for sharing. Mwah. Kisses and all my love. Peace out. <laughs> Susan, Eric Roberts here a.k.a. Alice Grady. You ask a very intriguing and intelligent question. What do I think about girl power in the martial arts realm? As a matter of fact, if I were not packing to go on location, I'd be at my five-year-old granddaughter's karate class. The other things she loves are singing and dancing. You two are birds of a feather. I'm so pleased with the evidence that women are no longer being ridiculously marginalized. I'm in shock that we've never had a woman as president. And the inequality is insane. I don't like the idea of potentially violent sports of any kind, whether the participants are male or female or other. But take away the violence, everyone should be welcome. My mother-in-law was Lila Garrett. L-I-L-A, Lila Garrett, G-A-R-R-E-T-T. -T. Look her up, Susan. By the way, I love Philadelphia. We have so many friends who live there, probably right near you. And I love that you're so in the best of the best. Thank you. Peace out. Hi, is uh, Eric's here too. Say hi, Eric. Hi, Susan. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> I hope I'm doing this right. I really do. I can only hope. Anyway. That was very nice, you saying that about Keaton having soul. And I just, I mean, I will dance around the house on a dime. Sometimes I get Eric in there with me. And, you know, I've learned that even if people walk in the house, don't stop. It's the best. There's, there's No one's ever been harmed by dancing. I mean, they have been harmed if they fall down or whatever. But, you know, this world, more dancing, less guns, right? Anyway, sweetheart, I loved your, I loved your request. It really meant a lot to me. Um, it got me thinking and listening to a whole bunch more R&B. Thank you for listening to Keaton. Enjoy him. Stay in touch. Okay? Eric, say bye. Bye-bye. Peace out. His hair is standing up. His hair is standing up. All right, sweetheart. Talk soon. Bye. Thank you so much, Susan, really. Eric Roberts here. It's so cool that you discovered the film The Butcher. I'm always envious of people discovering great work late. It all gets to be new to you. I'm so glad you brought up The Butcher, Susan. I happen to love that director and that movie. I even like myself in it, and that is rare. I love your reasons for liking The Butcher. You found it to be an on-the-edge-of-your-seat, fierce, action-packed thriller. I love that. And you're a dancer and a singer? I have so much respect for that. I bet you're great. And you make jewelry? Thank you for asking what kind of earrings I like to wear. I love earrings. I like silver 
or a bronze small hoop. Most important is that they're easy to clasp, to put on or take off. I like to have one small hoop on the lower piercing and a small stud of any kind in the upper piercing. I love your town, by the way, and I love your writing. Your request was tons of fun. Mwah. Peace out. Do you like my balloons?